pimping the code chord changes. I'm Robin Nolan, and in a series of videos, I'm answering your questions on playing gypsy jazz guitar, and I've got a really good one for you today. And uh, some people have been asking about when they can superimpose different harmonies and different chords over a regular standard. And this is something which you can do to literally pimp the chord changes to the standard coquette. And there's two places you can do it. Um, so just uh, if you know coquette, then you're going along from the beginning. D, D, E minor seven, A seven, right? So you're going one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, then to E minor. So you've got two bars of D major. And what you can do, this is what real jazz guys do. Um, so instead of just hanging on that D major, you're going to go D major, G7, F sharp half diminished, B7, then to the E minor. Yeah? So it gives it some real movement. Bass players love doing this. So you go. So instead of. So you've got the D, you've got G7, these are all two beats each, one, two, three, F sharp half diminished, F sharp minus seven flat five, B7, you can play B7, B7, and then you arrive with the E minor like you would usually so yeah so just practice it and what it does it gives also gives the soloist a lot more freedom and a lot more interesting changes to get you know to get into um, this one you've got to tell the bass player you've got to tell uh, if you're in a band or a session you've got to say arrange when to do these changes because it won't sound good if someone one guy plays and the one goes so you've got to say hey let's try out these changes so that if you've got a band or something like that then this is perfect for you to put in and make you know pimp these changes the other place in coquette bridge you've got the bridge uh, d7 down to g down to e7 here Instead of the regular E minor 7, A7, you can put B flat minor basically. B flat minor 6 before the A7. So, in context, just so you know where I am, the bridge of coquette, ba, D7, G. We go to E7. Instead of E minor 7, A7, we're going to go. It sounds really crunchy. B minor 6 there, B flat minor 6, sorry. Play it which way you want B flat minor basically and also if you're a soloist um, you can actually superimpose anything B flat minor there instead of E minor A7 so you can just get really stuck into some alternative changes there sounds really rad so that's the B flat minor 6 to the A7 yeah that's gonna sound good so that's number two two ways to pimp here in coquette first way e, G7 F sharp half diminished B7 bridge instead of going E minor 7 A7 at the end of the bridge we can go drop that big B flat minor 6 in before the A7 it's gonna sound wicked so there's two ways to pimp the changes to coquette and if you've got a question about gypsy jazz then send it to questions at gypsyjazzsecrets.com uh, thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel here and I'll see you really soon in another video Hey, it's Robin. Did you like that lesson? If you did, you can do three things right now to continue your journey into Gypsy Jazz. Number one, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I hope you do because every week I can send you a new video answering your questions into Gypsy Jazz guitar playing. Number two, you can download your free issue of Gypsy Jazz Guitar Secrets magazine. And you can do that by clicking here or going to gypsyjazzsecrets.com. And number three, you can check out my Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club, and you can do that by going here, clicking on the button, or go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com. So if you'd like to do any of that, just click on these buttons, and I look forward to seeing you in another video really soon.